Hello, today we will be covering theatrical fly systems and fly rails installed in traditional theater venues. We will go over some basic fly rail components that come standard in almost every theater venue. Here we have the Grand Drape. Other names for this curtain include Main Rad, Main Drape, and Main Traveler. Its main uses are for pre-show house seating, during intermission where drastic set changes may be necessary, and following a curtain call. This curtain is a traverse one, which means internal pulleys pull it apart from the middle. Some venues not equipped with a fly rail system use this setup method because doubling the stage height is not necessary to fully open the curtain. In addition, the main drape is mounted on a fly, shown here, so it can be operated in the way you see before you. Next come the stage left and stage right legs. Most venues have three to six sets of these. Here, the legs are located directly behind the large speaker stacks. Usually, the legs are configured at regular intervals from upstage to downstage. Also, each pair of legs that are upstage from the preceding ones are longer, allowing them to have a layering effect that prevents audience members from seeing backstage using common sight line principles. Sometimes, legs are used during productions as staging areas for props and large set pieces for convenience and also storage. Now we have what are referred to as electrics. Venues have three to eight of these depending on their size. These flies hold various fixtures such as ellipsoidals, fresnels, par cans, psych lights, and assorted LED fixtures. Electric flies usually support five to 10,000 pounds each. The power supplies that are permanently mounted to the fly batten are wired to the in-house dimmer system and controlled lighting via the venue's lighting console. Next is a traditional black traveler, seen here directly behind the red stage seating. Venues usually accommodate one to three of these according to the scale of the stage. The physical function of this fly is identical to that of the Grand Drape. As shown, it has a pulley system that allows it to open and close from and to the middle respectively. Reasons for this curtain may be to allow for a scene change but not to hinder the scene in front of the drape. Let's take a brief moment to discuss some fly system stats. Flies have a wide variety of functions such as flying custom set pieces in and out, drapery, flying or performer, lighting, and sometimes flies are even used to fly workstations up in the air due to lack of floor space on the stage. That's why they have to accommodate for a wide rate ranges. In general, a fly can hold anywhere from 50 to 15,000 pounds of weight. Additionally, flies almost always have very low clearance between them, usually no more than three inches in front or behind them. In the theatrical industry to compensate for this, set designers and builders use depth and sightline principles to make set pieces such as a bookcase or desk appear to seem actual size. Let's talk borders. For every pair of legs, there is a border. Borders help to manage the performance space. Plus, their primary purpose is to hide flown sets and electric flies from audience view. Notice here that there is a clearance issue between the flying border and electric behind it. Next is the scrim. The scrim is a large sewn piece of fabric, usually of a white to medium gray color. The scrim transmits light and reflects it, allowing for countless lighting configurations and effects. Sometimes scrims are used in place of actual screens in order to project videos. In general, anything that is lit will be seen on both sides of the scrim. Also, we have what is commonly referred to as a blackout curtain. This specialty drape consists of a traditional curtain, but an additional light absorbing layer is sewn into the core of the drape. This drape is not a traverse drape, which means it cannot open or close from the center. This fly is used in performances that may not need use of the flies behind it. 
Most often, this blackout drape allows a quick pathway for actors to get to the opposite side of the stage without being seen, and also to move set pieces back and forth in the same manner. Finally, is the cyclorama, or psych for short. This fly is also a large piece of fabric, but is always a standard white color or unbleached canvas. By varying the equipment, intensity, color, and patterns used, a lighting designer can achieve many varied looks. Cycloramas are often illuminated during performances to match the mood of a song or scene. Now comes every theater's dirty little secret. The rear wall of most venues is relatively unfinished, but a large amount of functionality can be found along its width. On the left side of the wall, notice the large door that is almost the complete height of the stage. This door opens to the loading area so that large traveling shows have less difficulty loading large sets onto the stage. Along the rest of the wall, there are multiple outlets for microphones, speakers, power for lighting, data for lighting, video feeds, intercom feeds, and more. These outlets can also usually be found along all of the other stage walls along the perimeter. This concludes the introduction to identifying standard fly components in traditional theater venues.